Paul, drum roll please. You've got details on the country's GDP numbers. They're out. They're showing that the economy shrank in the third quarter. What does the report mean for us? Well, and it was a surprise contraction in the third quarter as well, Marcia, uh, uh, confounding the expectations of economists. And as we'll get to in, in a moment, the second quarter number has now been revised upward. You know, I think a lot of people are, are wondering, is this country or not in a recession or headed to a recession? And uh, the answer as to whether we entered a recession in the third quarter is no. Uh, while the economy did shrink by 1.1 percent in the third quarter, according to Statistics Canada, StatsCan also said that in the second quarter, uh, growth in increased by 1.4 percent. StatsCan revised, uh, as it often does, its, uh, its uh, accounting for gross domestic product in a prior quarter. And instead of a modest contraction that it originally reported in the second quarter, it now says growth was 1.4%. So we did not meet that definition, that technical definition of two consecutive quarters of economic contraction. But here, here's the trend. The trend is clear. The Canadian economy is slowing in a big, big way. Uh, in the first quarter, growth was 2.5%. In the second quarter, according to StatsCan today, growth was 1.4 percent, a significant pullback from Q1. And in the third quarter, growth actually contracted by 1.1 percent. So the takeaway from economists uh, is clear. The Canadian economy is clearly slowing down. It's doing so uh, largely because of the interest rate hikes from the Bank of Canada that were designed to do exactly that mm. and, and, to, and to therefore bring inflation down. And many, many economists and the fixed income market in Canada as well believes the Bank of Canada has now finished raising interest rates. And the next move it makes sometime in 2024, many observers believe, will be a move down on interest rates. Okay, so no more hikes, no more increases, Paul, do you think, based on, on what you're telling us? That, that is the very commonly held view of uh, economists, uh, and it is also the view of what's called the overnight index swaps market, which is a, a version of the fixed income market in, uh, in Toronto, where, uh, where investors uh, uh, essentially invest on the, uh, the likelihood of a interest rate change and when. And, and what that market now shows is a, a 70, I believe it's a 74 percent chance of an interest rate cut in March of next year. So, Paul, you and I have talked in the past about this sort of delicate dance that the Bank of Canada was doing, and they were trying to get to this, you know, so-called sweet spot where they didn't want to, you know, create a recession or create those sort of conditions, but at the same time do something to control inflation. So are the numbers indicating that this is where we have landed in a sense? You know, I think a lot will depend on the fourth quarter. If the trend continues, we may see a negative uh, a gross domestic product in the fourth quarter. Uh, that would meet the technical definition of a recession. I think a lot of people expect us uh, to get there. I think for ordinary Canadians, uh, the, big, uh, the big question is, uh, will it be a severe recession uh, or not? And, and, the, and most people feel that a recession is likely to be a fairly uh, sh uh, shallow and short-lived uh, here in Canada. For, for one thing, uh, employment growth remains substantial. The rate of unemployment, and we, we will get new employment numbers before too long here in Canada, the rate of unemployment uh, remains at, ha at historic lows. So uh, people certainly are working. One thing that's slowing the economy down is that people are spending much less of their disposable income, and, and higher mortgage costs are a big part of that. In, in the gross domestic product data, of, uh, of this morning, uh, Marcia, one, one big, big number that stood out was uh, household consumption. It hasn't, according to experts, been this week as, uh, since uh, 2009. So that, mm. that, rather than a big wave of unemployment, seems to be, slowing the, uh, seems to be a, a significant factor in slowing the economy down. Paul Bagnell, thanks for all that. Paul, really appreciate it. Thank you.